Hello boys, my name is Kaliyoshi. Sorry if I'm starting in the middle of my attempt. I just realized something. The Mavericks and Monarch are being very cheeky, and because this is a new update, yes, no one has actually done a video to do this course setup. So if you're watching this, that actually puts me more pressure, let's be honest. You know what this means, guys. If we actually do this run setup, I may be the first human in the whole world to get all the accomplishments in this game. And here it was supposed to be like some kind of children's game designed for multiple players, and I'm about to prove that you can get all the achievements, even with Maverns and Monoth being still in the game. So, yeah. If I actually do this run, this will be my the first time I'm ever the first to do anything, because I do not think anybody has even done the Mavericks of Mana Kaibo. This means this won't just be the first 100% play- well, well, I guess it won't be the first 200% playthrough, but it may be the first max percent, meaning I'm basically doing every single thing the game has to offer. Oh yeah, I'm definitely jumping more now. If you're wondering why I'm double jumping, this is a tech. If you jump again immediately after the again, you can um, immediately cancel your input, and that can actually really help you with getting some of the dev times. Like, even just doing that gave me like a second more than what I got before. But yeah, because this is a new playthrough, though. I'm pretty sure, if you guys want to, there are probably some timestamps that people will put in place to skip attempts, but for my purposes, I'm not going to cut out anything because, like, I checked. Somebody had done all the courses, but they were golden only. They didn't actually get a single dev time. I also didn't even know about the dev time thing until I realized that you fill up the golden par, that's how you do it. But it's so hard to tell, like, even, like, right now, there's no real way to know if you've gotten all the dev timers. By the way, if you watched my previous video, I have already gotten most of the dev times on the other courses. I'm just missing the three-star ones, and I think a single two-star one. So this is basically the video I mentioned that I mentioned. We're going to go back and exclusively redo these courses until we get the dev time, but we're not going to... I just realized I should probably be testing some more strategies. There are ways to skip a few things. Let me get no guys, because, um, yeah. So, good luck trying to do this. Mm, save ball, because, like, I, I did mention that. I don't think anybody has even beaten a dev time, let alone all of them. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure quite a few people have beaten the easy dev times. The ones, though, on these free star courses, I'm not so sure. And I'm pretty sure also the developers put the clocks in the game for a reason. That was bad. I definitely have the right idea ground pounding there. I just think that I can't do that there, unfortunately. But yeah. Essentially, with double jump spamming and down pound pantsly is probably the only way I'm going to get these times. And even then, I might barely get some of them. Okay. It does feel like... Also, let's try this. Okay. Alright. I was just uh, testing to confirm whether or not that was doable, and sure enough, it's not. Alright. So, that means we... We're gonna have to get up there to Lonway and then skip the free clock down there. I will admit, just that a lot of this is very set up, very similar to the way Crash Bandicoot has its time trials. Like I said, if anybody who's played Crash Bandicoot 3, you will know that this trial seems very familiar to you. It literally is. Crash Bandicoot's time trial system, but in other modes. It initially was only in Crash Bandicoot 3, though, that they had that. But, yeah. He had Platinum times to beat in that game, of course, but now we have Dev times to beat in this game. 
Take out this is nothing like it. Like it's more of a Metroidvania style of game. And yeah, it has fast bad new like time crawls anyway. It's kind of interesting. I will admit I do like this expansion a lot because of that, but it's very full. But yeah, but just like Mass Bandit, there are probably some time stuff that are just not worth grabbing and having to figure out either the best ways to grab them or which ones you should skip is going to be very important. In addition to still doing the movement very fast. And also know about plant animation cancels. You saw Mini Mouse probably stop there for a few seconds. That wastes about a second. And the Pound Pound, if you don't cancel, you lose about a second to doing slow movement. And of course, there's other ways to use the rem. Now, obviously, because we're doing the developer times, these are so tight that pretty much even just one mistake you have to immediately reset. And I mentioned Cats Vampire because some of the platinum times in that game are almost just as brutal as the other stuff. Well, just all the Cats Vampire games you know, have some pretty tight num timers too. Pretty much forcing you to play perfectly to get all the timers. Pretty much like only a master of games challenge. Mm -mm, games can clearly do. Honestly, if you're gonna do this run, just do all the goldens. That's all you actually need to get 100%. But if you're going for achievements like me, we have to do the death times, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna try and focus now. Some of these times are really tight. Like, that is a very tight jump. That's probably the tightest jump in this little forest. Okay, I'm gonna jump pound here. Ah. I almost had it. I think if I ground pounded a fame earlier, I would have probably gotten that timer and maybe gotten the dev timer beat there. You can see how tight it is. You pretty much have to do all the fast movement to be able to beat the dev time. And the dev time, like I mentioned before, you have to fill the bar up completely. I'll probably just be quiet now so I can focus on the movement. This is just as fast, if not faster. Yeah, it's almost just as fast as the normal movement. <sighs> okay, I messed up. That was my own fault. Need to jump just a bit higher, unfortunately. It didn't help that I didn't grab onto the vine. Should've. Or swing thing, rather. That cover saved me there. I will admit, when you actually watch... If anybody does end up watching this run, this might end up being my most popular run since if I end up actually getting all the dev times, this will probably look cool with all the fast, crazy, tight movement I'm doing. Missed the turnaround completely there. If I would have just probably ground pound, I would have gotten it. Like I said, very tight. They only give you about a split second through. Like, some of these timers are really tight for some reason. 
Okay, I could tell that was not gonna work out. In some of these, I probably should wait a little bit to double jump until a bit later. Yeah. If I can't help it, double jump spamming is one of the faster variants of movement here, so... I did use it, by the way, also in my uh, other run once I discovered it. If you're wondering how I beat Iron Mouse build, I did found a, I did manage to at least find a YouTuber to help me out. I very much just skipped to the end of his video and just tried to do what he did. But better. Maybe in the future, if there's still not really a good setup, I'll try to make an Iron Mouse guide on how to take down Iron Mouse build. Although I did skip it in this run, since it actually is pretty much the same exact run, just you can't game or, or you don't have infinite lives now. You have to actually beat the game on one life. It's kind of like a hardcore challenge in like other games. You can't uh, die or you just immediately lock your save file, and they mean it. They will lock your save file. If you're wondering why I was struggling to get Iron Mouse build a lot, well, that's because it's actually secret pulled. You need to, like, press a different button, and then you actually start it up properly. It's really weird, but that's the way it looks like. That's actually kind of a nasty trap. The fact that they put that just slightly off means you have to be almost aim for it levels to get that. I, in fact, I'm not sure if I can even get that. I might be better off just slowing down. By the way, I just wanted to show you this. You can enter a course from anywhere now. It doesn't have to be just from the main menu anymore. You can enter it whenever you want, which is nice. I did read one course on purpose. I'm gonna come to that later once I get all the dev times because I want to try and time these achievements together to make it a bit easier and also to prove a point that the dev timers can be beaten with enough time and effort. If it turns out it's taking too long, I could probably for another video later. If I don't actually beat any dev timer in this, then it probably will be better to just say I should probably just not for this video at all. But yeah, I, I, I do I am more inclined than ever to do this. If it turns out there's a lot of options, maybe I'll cut out some parts until I get the timer properly, but I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll try go for an hour for now, though. The main reason I'm not cutting out stuff is because, like, I want to legit show you how hard this challenge really is. Like, this really is now the hardest thing in the game. Before, I fought doing Iron Mouse moves hard enough. By the way, that final escape, I should have mentioned, took me an hour and 30 minutes to get a deathless run on that. It was very brutal, man. They really did not intend you to do that without paying the death. They usually mutate one or two, but give you shortcuts after they do that. You're wondering why I'm not going Tom uh, up down there? It's because it takes way too long to get that timer. I think that one you're pretty much supposed to grab with.
That time you're pretty much supposed to just grab with and our friend. I don't see how else you can do this. Also, I because of that, I feel like some of these just could potentially be possible without multiple players. Although it's probably not required. You see, this one, it can be done. It's just incredibly tight. Like, see there? Yeah. Alright. As I said that, we beat it. We filled the bar up, which means we got the dev timer. Alright. So we don't have to do that course anymore. And I already mentioned I did all the two stars, pretty much. So now we need to do... This was kind of a tighter dev timer last I chat. If it turns out I missed one, I'll probably have to go back and see which one it is. Yeah. I know I did grind on this first part for a while, that's for sure. Alright. Each Maverick also has four different races to play, by the way. Alright, World of Heights. This one, I think we literally missed the dev timer for like a split second or something. So we were pretty close to actually getting this. So I'll probably start with getting the free star timers first and then do all the other ones again. By the way, I don't like that they make you deal with enemies now. You didn't have any enemies to deal with in the first couple of segments. Now, have actual spikes and enemies to deal with. We can't take damage from them since they do cause us to slightly get stunned every time we get hit. So we can't afford to take any damage. It's not like some other games where you can just... Oh, what was that? I don't think I've ever failed that badly on that part before. In fact, normally that part's bad at all. So that was bad. Because of that, the cycle's now going to be off. Without those ground pound cancels, it'd be nearly impossible to beat some of the dev timers, I imagine. Okay, delayed a bit to make sure I got all those. We almost got that. In fact, I think we landed right on top of the vein. I didn't even see the timer pick up. I think we literally landed right on top of it. That was flawless, actually. See, if we didn't have that mistake before, we would have actually gotten that. So, we just need to get a perfect run. We can't have any mistakes on movement. We can't have any dumb mistakes on movement. We have to... Like, some of these timers are very tight. It's basically the same run, but we have to be perfect now. Once we do this, though, the first Maverick will be completely done terms of all the collectibles. That was a very bad start. Let's uh, try that again. I don't know why I'm still talking. Hang on. Let's focus now. Honestly, that was about the same time. Okay, I'm gonna restart that. I'm not supposed to get by that green enemy, by the way, there. But that other one, that was almost just identical as if I had played normally, so... I think either I need to go a frame faster, or I need to just slow it down a little bit. I don't know yet. Pick me. I play the stick, by the way, so sometimes I'll randomly move to the side instead of pounding, because I think too far ahead sometimes. That's why I move to the left there on accident. Again! Did it again! My gosh, could I not just accidentally grab the lance, man? 
At this point, I might have to let go of the stick for just a frame just to make sure I and use the D-pad instead. Yes, I am playing on Pro Controller, so I do have access to a D-pad in addition to other stuff. Yeah, okay, alright. We didn't mess up that time. D-pad saved us there. Yeah, so I think we want to slow down on purpose today. I think barely disappeared in time. Yes, I do delay the ground pound there. I don't think it's worth it. Ah! That- If I- She didn't wall bounce, that would have been fine there. Alright, it's fine. Let's try again, but let's not be so bad this time. If you're wondering where some of the other course timers are and why we didn't uh, complete them, that's because uh, we did those in a previous video. Look to the previous video for more info and you'll know exactly what I mean. Now I'm on a normal- oh, I actually went faster that time. Oh yeah, okay. By the way, it's because these global timers are the same, depending on what you look at, that can actually help you tell what pace you're on. I think I'm on pretty good pace since we skipped a specific area. Because those spikes were in a different position, that's how you could tell. Yeah, I know about everything speedrun related, global cycles, all that kind of stuff I know about. Almost every platforming game has kind of global timers. Alright. Alright, that was just barely in my way, so I jab is either too slow or too fast, I cannot tell which. Slow down there because I'm on the edge of the area. Unfortunately. Okay, we got it. I definitely got it that time. We have a second to spare, I think, too, because it's 34 last I checked. So, yeah, we got it with a second, I think, or two to spare there. Cool. All right, first Maverick done. We won't know if they completed it, though, until we get all the dev stuff. Okay, this is the next Freestar one. I can never tell if I got the other one, so I might have to do this a bit more. That one I think I barely got. Who knows? Uh, let's go... Um, let's do... Uh, let's do the other Freestars first, and then we'll probably do the other missions once to... Check if our record is above that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me self saying that we don't know what our dev times are because we don't haven't played this enough, apparently. I think this is one of the easier freestyles, but I can never tell. Hey, we cleaned up our mistake from the previous run. Whoa, well, that was weird. I. Bound bounce, but I clearly did not, apparently. I'm gonna say that that was bad. We'll restat that. Now that we're... Now we're starting to understand the curses more, we pretty much have to do this perfectly. Oh, that looks really cool, bouncing off all three of those in a row. Sometimes the fastest movement is just that, just trying to bounce off all of them. And yeah, some of the timers could be dragged along with you too, so 
try and do that as much as we can. Tried to ram down, didn't work. Okay, that bouncer helped me out there. Okay, that looks really quick. Hovered there just in case I wouldn't make the jump. You know, I should probably be hovering a lot more. The only reason I don't do it more is because it's typically slower than the normal movement, but even for a split second, that can sometimes assist you with later sections. Alright, well, time improvement. This is a nice start. Got sub 61. Well, yeah, but, but more time on uh, than sub 61. Didn't get the dev time, but we got a four second improvement. So that's a good start. If only I think my second try or something at this course. Honestly, I probably could just get that elsewhere. I don't know why I'm wasting time. I should just focus on grabbing the time and then grab that five timer one on the pass. I don't know why I'm doing it like that instead. I guess that's why. Usually I get it early. That's the reason. bit too ashy. Probably should delay for a bit. Even if it is for a switch second. That part is probably one of the toughest parts to nail down and still get the timers. Like I said, not all the timers are super lenient. Some of these require you to do be pretty much perfect to get. And some of the other ones you have, what, one or two seconds of wheelie maybe, depending on the arse, but in three star, not so much. But that works. Yeah, I did not stop that. Okay, get time is about 64 seconds. That was weird. We didn't do a wall jump. Instead, we kind of did like a wall side. That actually kind of reminded <laughs> Dude, that reminded me of the... Uh, you know that wall jump power up where Mario jumps up a, up a wall instead of to the side of it? Yeah, I think that's what it reminded me of. Oh, we got it. Yeah, but what... Point one second. Okay, all right, all right. We're done with that one. Good grief, that was tight. Jeez, we barely got that one too. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they would never make it like a different time thing. So yeah, that was point one second. By point one second, we got that. <laughs> Holy crap, that was tight, man. All right, we're going for home stretch next. This is the one where we barely got the gold. I think this is supposed to be like the last... One of the last levels that you do. I hate that those platforms prevent us from uh, doing the fast fall via ground pound. Okay. 
And again, we won't know when we beat the timer unless we see the achievement pop up called All Dev. That's what we're looking for, if you're wondering. Depending on how long this take, this might actually be a two-parter. Ah. I'm just gonna say that that's a reset. So I think I need to hold down the button there to be able to... No, for just do an extra double jump somewhere. Looks like I pulled out my cell for just a frame moment, but I didn't say it because it looked so fast. Oh, that actually might be better. So uh, she hit the ground sooner. That might actually be faster now than what I did the previous time. Had to move to the side to avoid running into that barricade. Some of these dev timers are really tight, though. Alright, see, there we go. We barely get it, too. Wow. That is very, very tight, dude. Come tight. Yeah. <sighs> and that one tight as well. Jeez. How many of these timers you can just barely get? Alright, I need 85 seconds. So that means by that point we need like 87 seconds actually, probably. So yeah, we need to not mess that part up. Ah, okay, that's enough of a stall. I'm just gonna reset. This looks like a really tight one, too. That other one we did on, like, only three tries. This one's probably gonna take longer, though. Oh, I just realized that's going the right way. Maybe I shouldn't be doubled. What the frick? Dude, that other saved us, actually. <laughs> I, that's because I thought I was going down the wrong side, and it turns out I ended up barely uh, surviving because of that. That was crazy. I did legit think I was going to mess up there. Oh, I should not be jumping there. Okay, that that's bad. Yeah, that bouncer is more of an obstacle than an enemy. We need to time our double jump properly to avoid it. Alright, let's just walk on this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a little bit faster, I think, than doing the normal strat. Since it's going not an opposite way, it'll be faster to just ride on that and do other stuff. And yes, um, this is technically sort of a blind playthrough, sort of. Well, not really. We've played the Vice of Ices multiple times now, but... Since nobody's beaten the dev time, we have to bench up, go in blind, and just kind of learn as we go, you know what I mean. I mean that was very... I think I just barely got that in time. By the way, it's possible some characters could be better for this. I imagine if Goofy has a taller hitbox, he might be able to reach some of these better. But I go with Minnie Mouse just because she's my favorite character, and I also want to prove that it doesn't really matter which character. You, they can all still get the gold at times, so just gonna be a bit tighter. I need to- oh wow, yeah, it's actually 86. 
Yeah, that's inevitably tight, dude. I don't know if <laughs> that's even possible to beat, actually, without multiplayer. Some of these, I... I will say, a lot of times, I feel like I question whether or not I can beat these with multiplayer, because if these can be multiplayer, then the timers would be so much easier to beat. Because you would just have four players going around getting everything, and then... Although, what if they had to wait for them, and then maybe that would actually be harder. You saw a mini mouse stop there, or sad by the way, yes, whenever I do that, uh, that's a well, second loss. So this is a super tight, we're just gonna immediately reset and try again. So yeah, depending on the time or so, these videos could be either incredibly long or very short. It depends on how long this takes. That right there, I actually can get. Probably don't need to do a second ground pound on some of these. Ah, okay, that's definitely it. We can't have that mistake happen. We have to go much faster than that. Yeah, I have to learn all of this movement on the fly. New guides to help us out this time. Alright, let's try this again. a 100% restart. That's so tight. I might actually want a ground pound to better set up the timing on that. It seems like it'd be slower by one second, but maybe that actually would add enough and maybe set up the timing better. I don't always ground pound everywhere because, like, it's not really worth it unless you can travel a big vertical distance. Like, right here, obviously, it's really good, but time you have, like, obstacles anyway, it doesn't always work as well. I'll try it. See, and also, you could just do that instead. I'm gonna practice the end game part, except I messed the timer anyway. Alright, I'll reset. I was being too rushy there. Let's, uh, make sure we actually get the timer. That'd be good. Oh. I might have discovered a new tat there. I think I can also mate that too. Like, if I hold down the button on that thing, I might be able to barely make that wall jump possible. Since it doesn't seem to be worth it, I'm probably just gonna go with Strat. I don't know if I wanna mess up that. Not. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Now. Okay. 
Okay, that definitely helped me set up, except we bam the ball there. So still a little bit of time. Wait, I just realized something. Yeah, I could just do that, probably. Alright. I think that's where my last second is. That means I can just ground pound to the bottom and then just wall jump up instead. I think that's what I'm doing wrong. I imagine if uh, gamers are focused enough, there will probably be a guide to do this in the future. For now, this is probably the only video we will see of uh, doing this. Whoa. I don't know how that happened, but somehow it worked out. Okay, yeah. Oh, that actually was about even. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, that looks a lot faster. So we'll definitely do that part. That from now on. Jump over that dancer. Keep in mind, even the gold timer for this is incredibly tight. Got it! Alright, 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 got it. That was the toughest course yet to do. Yeah, they're making these much more nastier by the block, that's for sure. Alright, second Maver done, I think. But I can never tell where each of these are. So I'll check each of these first to see what the timer is. And the wait. It still doesn't make sense that the game doesn't tell you if a dev timer has been beaten or not. They should add a golden icon to make it easier to figure out. Otherwise, it would be less confusing, you know, right? that up. Probably have to do a full run of this to just, uh, see that. See the timer. Ah! I'm definitely not gonna see it with that mistake. Alright, let's let's actually wall jump. That'd be nice if we actually like freaking wall jumped properly. Okay, that was nice. Alright, that's how we're supposed to do that. By the way, if anybody questions why I'm play why I'm not necessarily playing as Vicky Vals despite this being clearly a Mickey Vals based game, well that's because I prefer Vinny and also because everyone is playing Mickey. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, I think I'm done. We clearly see that the timer is 74 seconds, but our record is set to the five, so we definitely beat that one. So if we check, if this next one checks out, then that's technically the second Mavern done. If we do that, I think that's a good time to end the episode, just to balance this out a bit more, make it three parts instead of four, and we can uh, get this done. I'm gonna save the last achievement for later though. You'll see why in a minute. By the way, it would make logical sense if the timer for this was 50 seconds, not seconds, but we'll see.
I don't think I've beaten this one, actually. We'll yeah. see. Yes, I- yes, stalling there is intentional, by the way. Well, if we didn't have it before, then we've definitely beaten it now. Looks like we didn't have it. Alright, well, that was a free second improvement. See, like, that one gives you, like, three old seconds. Also, clearly skipping that one did work out. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. We're done with this. So, we have only four courses left now, so we're going to call it quits here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, cut, rate, subscribe, and we'll take on the final Maverick in the last episode. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see if we can get all of the golds. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.